Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jolie. In today's demonstration, we're back in Invoice Capture, one of my favorite places to be. And so exciting, this demonstration is a requested demonstration. So the situation is we have vendors who send us invoices um, in one PDF file. So they might send 100 different invoices in one file. Um, what the system, what invoice capture does is only reads that first invoice. So we need a solution um, to separate out those files. And Microsoft has made that really easy. So let's jump in. Um, so remember how I embedded the invoice capture solution in D365. I want to show those before we get into the actual demonstration. Um, I want to show what that looks like. So here is the actual invoice capture power app. And you can see here, I have a beautiful dashboard. Now this dashboard, we will walk through in a future video. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon. Captured invoices and received files are really the only areas that an end user or an AP user would need to have available. And I have embedded these tabs into the workspace into the vendor invoice automation workspace. So here we won't really utilize anything in this actual Power App screen. But I do want to walk through this setup system. This manage channels is where you can set up how the vendor invoices are coming into the Power App. It's very easy to set up. I don't have the admin rights to be able to do that because I'm in just a demo um, environment right now. Um, but it's very simple to set, set up. And what ends up happening is if you have in this demonstration, what, what will happen is the vendor sends an invoice in, sends the invoice with multiple invoices, and this is what it looks like. Now, I do recommend the vendor names this with maybe the date they sent it or some unique identifier, and I'll show you why here in a minute. But here is invoice 15, 16, and 17 all in one file. Again, if we run this through um, the capture the way it is, it's going to only read that first, which would be an issue, right? We'll, we'll be missing capturing two invoices or hundreds of invoices potentially. Um, so we need every single one of our invoices to go through some sort of process that says, if it has multiple different pages of invoices, we need it separated out. Power Automate does that for you. I set this Power Automate and you can see it right here, this flow. I set this up in about 10 minutes and I just Googled how to separate using Power Automate a PDF file into multiple invoices. So you can do that too. Super easy, but here it is. The only thing I had to do, that's a caveat, is I had to get access to something called Muhimbi. Muhimbi is this split PDF resource here. I got a 30 day free access, so I don't know how much it cost. I don't, I imagine not too much, but um, but anyway, that needs to be part of, um, it is part of this solution that I'm, that I'm showing you, but everything else is out of the box really, um, for power automate. I don't have any admin power automate or, or any extra power, power automate. This is just basic power automate, um, which I love <laughs> that Microsoft gives us that, but basically it's saying when a file is created, um, get the content in the file, split it out and then put it in a destination folder. So here's my, um, oh, let me pause this really quick and get my Teams folder. Hold on one second. Okay, so here is my SharePoint folder and I have set up new document libraries called Split Demo and Split Destination. This Split Demo, that is where all of the vendor invoices will be routed to. So, I will come here and draw, oh, let's get rid of these. Let's delete this because this is a new demo. I just want to start all over so I can show you. So I apologize for not having this ready. I want to show you how this works. Obviously, I've been testing this to make sure it works beautifully. Um, so when a file is created or modified, we're going to test this. I'm going to show you how this works. Um, so in this case, we're going to manually do this. But again, we would set this up to, to be an automated process. And now we're just going to drop, drop that invoice in here. And I'm gonna just to show you what happens when we have just a regular invoice. So this invoice is just one invoice. 
So we have one invoice, it's a one-to-one. -one. So every single one of your invoices should run through this. And, and then the automate, anything that comes into this folder automatically will read it, separate it out, and then put it here in this destination. As you can see, it has already done that with these three here. Um, let's just see. Oh, it already ran. Let's go ahead and test it again. Oh, let's go back here and see what happens. I love Power Automate. I mean, that was so great. It took one invoice and split it out into three different invoices. We're going to run this all the way through the process. Let's see what happens here. So it looks like it's still running. Might have not grabbed this new one. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't. Let's go back. Let's go to edit. Oh, let's go back into, oh, it sure did. It did it, it grabbed it. I was just trying to hurry up the process. So, so you see here, so now I have four different invoices. Now I'm gonna need to, you wouldn't need to do this. Essentially that channel setup would grab these and bring them in automatically. I have to download them because of my access, which is fine. We're still going to be able to process these very quickly. So let me put these in a location where we can grab them. Okay, so now I've got my invoices. Now I'm gonna go back into my vendor invoice automation solution in received files, upload the files. Now in my testing, I found out couple of things that you need to know. I couldn't drag and drop if they were from a Z file or they actually had to be downloaded to a regular folder before I could capture them like this, where I can drag and drop them. So if you run into a situation where it's not recognizing all of your invoices, make sure you're not in a downloaded um, zip file. Okay, so all of these are here. I'm simply going to upload them. Now that Acme 001, that looks like a duplicate. So we might get an issue with that one, but we'll see. Now you can see the invoices are named 920, which is today's date, 123. So they're unique. So since they're unique, the system's going to accept them. If they're duplicates, you could possibly get a canceled file here. And it's real easy to go in and it doesn't look like I'm going to get that. So it must have, I must have avoided the, the last test. So no worries there. So they all processed. What does that mean? They all came in to capture beautifully. Now check this out. Look at the invoice numbers. All the different invoice numbers are here. Now let's open one of the captured files. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now these aren't running through the automation because I didn't do anything like set up PO numbers or anything like that. I just wanted to show this solution and how to um, address it. And then the one that came in by itself is here by itself. Again, Microsoft has given us these amazing tools. Um, I say kudos to this AP automation. I think it's a long time coming um, and I'm excited to continue to show it to you. So. Keep bringing the questions. I love walking through solutions for invoice capture. Good news is, is I found a bug and I actually have another bug and I'll show it to you. Um, I don't know if this is a bug, but if I'm going to an invoice and I want to assign it a legal entity, okay, I can search here for my legal entity pretty quickly, add my legal entity. But what about when I need to change the vendor? So let me classify this invoice. Let me look for a vendor. Now, if I'm looking for Acme, I 
can't find anything here. So this is my next video. I'm going to find out how to easily search. I can't scroll through all the invoices, uh, all the vendors. There's just no way we have that ability. We need a way to search. So I'm on it. Stay tuned. And thanks for watching and keep subscribing, keep sharing and have a great day.